Welcome to the Call Hard Truth. I'm about to piss some people off. No countdown needed. My name is Redemption Goddess. I've been scratching my head, you know. Sometimes I think a little bit too deep. Sometimes I don't think deep enough. I was sitting over here, hung up on some words and maybe offended, you know, women's rights, blah, blah, blah. I got caught up in some, some women emotional stuff. But today I want to talk about ESPN, the viewership. Let's talk about the last 30 days or so with our man, Mr. Kwame Brown, Stephen A. Smith, uh, what's his name, Jackson and Barnes and whoever else, Nichols and whoever else. Now, this is just my opinion. Now, Kwame Trolls, stand down. Hear me out. I know y'all already under there typing, but just hear me out. Think to yourself. A lot of folks was boycotting sports, period. NFL, NBA. People just, they wasn't watching it. Some folks, white folks wasn't watching it. They said it was too political. You got black folks, they wasn't watching it. They say, you know, folks like Stephen A. Smith and, and uh, the bias and it is, you know. People was just barbecuing in the yard, doing other shit. Wasn't buying them jerseys. They just left that shit alone. Now, fast forward, fast forward. Or rewind, whichever one. We the people. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see this. I knew, I smelled, I smelled fish. I was like, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Let me quit, because I know y'all going to use that. You smelling in between your legs. That's where you smell fish. No, I smell some fishy shit. See, I'm going to tell you straight up. They played the shit out of us from fucking chicken scent. Uh oh is it two minutes? Yeah. From chicken sandwiches to they just play us. They just play us. I mean, look at this juvenile mini fresh mess they just put out a couple days ago. They keep playing us. Now, for the Kwame Trolls, I will say, get you three trades, coding. I'm glad he said that stuff. I'm glad that he is on it. And either they directly used him or indirectly used him. But they used him, y'all. Y'all gonna have to wake up. Well, who was he talking about? You got to understand, even when you trolling, trolls are traffic still. So if you watching Stephen A. Smith, just to sit there and make a video about him or have some commentary to say, get back and tell mama's cooking. Oh, look at what he said today. That's still viewership. It's still a view. It's still a click. Now they got you watching the game. Looking for underdogs that identify with, you know, identify like you identify with Kwame Brown. You rooting for the underdogs now. Now they got you watching the game too. Then they said, well, you know, this shit ain't working either. Let's get some women involved in this shit. Let's orchestrate some type of weird ass beef between a black and a white woman. Let's get these big black bucks over here to defend the white woman and make a da 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 and let's go back and forth and create some more drama. And then when the game come on, they stupid motherfucking asses will watch the game. Then they'll watch the commentator at the end. They'll watch all of the, you know, the sideshow stuff when they just talking. Ooh, ooh, we'll really get some black folks to watch. We put this black, put some black women up here. Look at this. With all the conniving and shit, the shit still didn't work for them. That's why I tell you when you're trying to so evil, the shit still don't be working. All of this shit y'all done did, and it still didn't work with your dumb ass. <laughs> all that conniving, and it still didn't work. They couldn't. They couldn't take that 380, what he at now? Kwame Brown got about them, they're 400 and some thousand. They still couldn't figure out 
how to get them people over <laughs> to the game and to ESPN. <laughs> That's why I laugh at evil. I laugh at evil. I don't put no colors on evil. I just laugh at evil because it's hilarious. Evil does not win. Now, whether Kwame is involved or he just, you know, a casualty of war, we'll never know unless he come out and say, yeah, I was involved. We'll never probably know. But I want you to look at the timeline. NBA final start. Hope. They send you some hope. They send you someone. Yay, Kwame. Then they send you the beef. Right? Stephen A. Smith. Other the, you see, he ain't never named a, no ESPN president. He ain't never put none of their pictures up there. <laughs> he ain't never put none of them white folk pictures up there. He talk about the black man, big old nose, and the white dude, he just ugly. Stephen A. Smith, big old forehead. He don't never put that president up there. Never put that CEO up there. I guess that shit wasn't working good enough, so they had to pretend to leak some shit from years ago. Oh, leaked? You mean released. Y'all know that woman said that shit way back when she said it. Y'all know y'all was taping her when she said it. All of this. To get black men to watch a fucking game. And it worked. But it didn't work good enough <laughs> because their viewership is still down. You know why? Because people take clips and they watching YouTube clips. See, y'all too stupid. Y'all too stupid. And then you tried to piggyback. We just gonna assume that Kwame didn't know nothing about this shit. So then y'all gonna try to piggyback off this man. <laughs> And he on here really, it, the, the message, the trades and the coding, that's a good message, honey. Because he could have just clowned and, and shucked and dry, jived and whatever. At least he put out, now nah, he didn't put up them white boys though. He did not put up them CEOs. He ain't put up none of them ESPN powerheads. None of them board of directors. None of them people that are really in charge. He ain't put none of them people up. You ain't seen not Nan Pitcher of real power. You just seen employees. Employees. That's just like me going to Home Depot, pulling one of them associates aside and tearing into their ass about the stock dropping. Them people ain't got nothing to do with the stock. And it, it drops and goes away. They in there helping you in the aisles. That's all they know. Same thing with Stephen A. Smith and all these other folks. Now, I do believe that they sit up there and they are a part of an agenda to lower these guys' contracts. I believe that. But see, all of this shit, fake-ass beef, I think Tommy Sotomayor in it. Now, he butthurt probably because he didn't get uh, the money he was expecting. You know, that man, he liked money. I seen him on there last night ripping some little girl uh, that just won the spelling bee like the fucking coward that he is. Um, y'all, can we spell bamboozled? Hoodwinked. <laughs> but not really, because the last laugh is on the evil puppet masters that thought this stupid shit was going to work. It ain't going to work. Y'all viewership still down. Don't nobody give a damn about y'all. Don't nobody really give a damn about these sports. We out here trying to survive, trying to trying to dodge bullets. Y'all keep releasing folks on Ibon and shit. We got to run around here and, and, and try to keep our family. Ain't nobody worried about no fucking sports. You know? Some of them people out there listening to Kwame, y'all done fucked up. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Michael Avarati, he probably got some land. He bought the... He about to put up, y'all. Do what Kwame said and go buy land. Go get your three trades and learn you some coding. Try to do at least one of them things, two of them things, like he said. Just think. Think in your mind. They sitting there. Just think about a board meeting. Come on, man. We're trying to, 
We gotta get this viewership back up. <laughs> you know you got a whole lot of white folks. They mad, you know, about the kneeling. They mad about the flag. They mad, 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 mad. Mad and jealous. Some of them jealous and mad. And you shouldn't even be paying them so much. They need to just shut up and dribble. Why everything got to be political? Then you got the black folks. I'm telling you, we out here trying to survive. Don't nobody give a damn about them sports. And look, all of that conniving and shit y'all did, and the shit still did. Viewership is still down. I hope your viewership go to zero. I hope it go to zero. Ha, 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 ha. That's what you get. Y'all sitting up here, you got your books, making all this money for you. Soon as they don't do or say what you want them to say, here you come with your smash campaign. Then you got other black folks playing right into the goddamn hand, bucking their eyes and shucking and jiving for zaddy. We see you. Don't worry, y'all. It's exposure season. For real. Evil does not win. I'm begging you. Actually, no, I'm not. I ain't begging you. Fall off so I can buy your land and your property and all your shit. Fall off so your shit could be in the auction. I'm not begging you to redeem yourself. I'm not begging you to repent and turn from your ways. Do whatever the hell you want to do. Okay? Keep on. Keep on lying and conniving, trying to manipulate people. Fake ass beefs, allegedly. Alleged fake beefs. Whole bunch of rich folks arguing, <laughs> arguing with each other. So they can get ratings up. Cue in a black and a white woman. Oh no, we see your ass. Exposed! Dummies.